Megomed Khan Gamzatkanov was a decorated Russian sambo practitioner, and in 1991, he was scouted by a world-traveling Akira Meda for Meda's fledgling Fighting Network Rings promotion. Using the name Volkan, he would become an instant hit in the land of the rising sun. While the stage aspect of rings meant that Han's legitimate fighting skills weren't explicitly necessary, his expert in grappling meant that every match he had was a showcase of his mastery, and he would ascend as the main adversary of Akira Meda, defeating him several times. In 1999, Akira Meda retired from rings, and the promotion made the switch from being primarily a stage fighting company with predetermined results, with the occasional legitimate shoot fight thrown in here and there, to a full-fledged legitimate MMA promotion. Most of the original stars of rings, many of them strictly exhibition fighters and grapplers, floundered under the new style and rules, and they quietly left the company. Volkan, though, stuck around and had a better go of it than the others. Taking into account his record post made a retirement, he stood at 10-3, and three, with a good run in the 2000 King of Kings tournament, only losing to Minotaro Nogueira in the semifinals. But age was getting the better of him, and in 2001, at the age of 40, Volk was eyeing retirement, and Rings itself was entering into the last months of its original existence. This brings in Yoshiaki Fujiwara. Fujiwara was trained by legendary catch wrestler Karo Gotch, and so assuredly, Fujiwara had a legitimate pedigree. He wrestled for New Japan Pro Wrestling through the 70s and early 80s, but in 1984, Fujiwara and a slew of other top talent left New Japan Pro Wrestling to a new promotion called the Universal Wrestling Federation. The UWF, in its beginning inception, was just another typical pro wrestling promotion, but with a core of martial artists and catch wrestlers making up its roster, a new style was quickly developed, one that would be monikered shoot style. Fujiwara appeared in the various forms of the UWF, but in 1981, the last incarnation of the UWF, newborn UWF, imploded, and a great splintering of shoot style occurred, with the differing ideological applications of shoot style leading to three new promotions being created. Nobihiko Takada, entering megastar status at the time, formed the UWFI. Akira Maeda, viewed as one of the only true shoot fighters in Japanese pro wrestling, created the Fighting Network Rings, and Fujiwara... Well, he pretty much remade the original UWF with just his name on it, Pro Wrestling Fujiwara Gumi. After Fujiwara Gumi went belly up in 1995, Fujiwara found himself a mere freelancer, a status which he would carry through the 90s and into 2000. Come 2001, he was past the age of 50, and real shoot fighting... MMA as we know it, had taken Japan by storm, while the aging suit style form of pro wrestling faded from popularity. There wasn't much demand for Fujiwara's skills in the 2000s, and he was regulated to appearing in mostly one-off bouts or short stints in various promotions. And so came this enticing offer, an exhibition bout against Volkan in rings, in the style of the original rings, or the UWF if you prefer. Truly a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see two legends of the art known as shoot style coming to grips with one another, a proper send-off of the old style of rings before the promotion itself would enter its sunset period. And that, my friends, is the subject of today's MMA oddities. Hello, fight fans, and welcome to another MMA oddity. Today, we're going to be watching two of the old guard of shoot style, Volkan versus Yoshiaki Fujiwara. This one is going to be fought in the style of classic rings. Rings at this time was in full swing of its uh, switch to MMA after 1999. Uh, most of the original roster of shoot style exhibitionists were gone. Some of them tried to stick around, like Andre Kapilov, um, and a couple others that don't spring to mind right at the moment. Volkan was one of those guys. He was doing better than most. Uh, but most of the old guys were gone. Uh, they were, were off to whatever they were doing. And a whole new batch of fighters came in under the new rules. Uh, fighters such as Fedor, Minotaro Noguera, Dan Henderson, Renato Sobral. Uh, hell, even on this event that this uh, little exhibition match takes place at, Ring's 10th anniversary event, Matt Hughes was in the main event. Uh, so yeah, Rings was uh, vastly different than how it w uh, used to be. Uh, but here we have Volkan and Yoshiaki Fujiwara doing a throwback, as I call it. The last hurrah of shoot style. Uh, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, I know shoot style had, you know, was still around. It, it faded away, but never left. Uh, even to this day, shoot style is still around. Uh, but its heyday was the mid eighties to the early to mid nineties. Uh, and after MMA sort of swept through Japan, hell, even K one was doing purely MMA events. Uh, in 2003, uh, K one would kind of dot dabble in doing pure 
MMA events. Uh, so MMA was taken over Japan. Shoot style uh, was uh, was uh, not as popular as it used to be, though some guys still tried to stick to it. Um, Volkan and Yoshiaki Fujiwara, uh, not too dissimilar, but they're very different in the application of shoot style. And Volkan was sort of adopted in the shoot style. Yoshiaki Fujiwara was one of the founders of shoot style. Volkan, though, did take the shoot style like a duck to water, if you want to say. Uh, so he was a natural for it. Uh, but still, I think uh, in terms of like legitimate skills, like in a real fight, I mean, Volkan all day. Uh, Volkan was a legitimate guy. His Sambo skills were second to none, uh, or so they say. Uh, anyway, uh, this event, this match... Excuse me. This match took place at Ring's 10th anniversary event. I, I'll tell you a little bit about it. <laughs> this match took place at the Ring's 10th anniversary event, and that was held on August 11, 2001, at the Ariake Coliseum in Ariake, Japan. Volkan was 40 years old for this one, and Fujiwara was 52 years old. Interesting note, these two men, geezer tidbit, these two men had very close birthdays. Volkan was born on April 5th. Uh, Make that April 15th, and Fujiwara was born on April 27th. Not much more to say. I'll press play, and uh, let's check this out. Here we go. Uh, this was a blink-and-you-miss-it match on the ring's 10th anniversary. It was held eh, kind of before the midway point, and it's not a very long match. Uh, so definitely blink-and-you-miss-it. Um, I think this was like a near three-hour event. Uh, so it was uh, quite a big event. Here's Fujiwara looking... Like Fujiwara, old. Uh, I wonder if he got top billing in this match. I don't think he did. I, I think he respected Volkan enough to know that Volkan was, other than Akira Maeda, Volkan was rings. Uh, and he quickly assumed that role after coming in. Uh, and I think generally the Japanese fans of rings loved Volkan. Volkan there looking okay. He's looking a little old. He looks 40. Uh, a little soft, but I think, you know what, he kind of has like a Chael Sonnen type body before Chael Sonnen started to add abs. Uh, I th I would definitely look at Volkan and say, now that, that guy's got a fighter body if he was a, a pure mixed martial artist. Uh, lean enough, some muscle, and not overly muscled, uh, but here we go. Volkan, from what everyone says about him, just a classy, uh, easygoing guy. He goes in for a, a leg there. Fujiwara is defending. Uh, I don't know how this one ends. Ooh, nice little roll there. Uh, so I'm uh, genuinely interested in seeing how they do this match. Uh, and I'm interested in hearing how the fans react to this because, you know, the, the Japanese fan, were, their tastes were changing. Uh, one of the reasons why shoot style went away, because I think there was a thirst for legitimate real competition, not only in Japan, but uh, many parts of the world with the rise of MMA. And here we go. Fujiwara is trying to lock in an arm triangle. He's in mount. He jumps over to side control. Nope, but he lost it. Uh, he gets a head scissors here by Volkan, who maybe is transitioning into an arm bar here. He falls back for it. Uh, not much effort, though, on that. I think he could have. If it was a real match, he probably could have got it. Um, Fujiwara here is in guard. There's uh, a leg up. A triangle choke attempt. Oh, Volkan, I don't think, is really known for triangles. He's going to secure that leg to try and control Fujiwara here. Hey, let's go to the triangle. So, yeah, shoot style came. was huge. I think it, it was really big right on the off, uh, offset because of the roster that the original UWF had. You had Kira Maeda, uh, Kazao Yamazaki, uh, Nobuhiko Takada, Satoru Sayama, Fujiwara, uh, and a couple other guys that uh, their names are eluding me right now. But... Uh, it was pretty big on the onset. Oh, a little stomp on, on the thigh there. And now an ankle lock from a Volkan here as Fujiwara is himself securing maybe an ankle here as a defense or a counter. Uh, now Volkan's going for this. Uh, this is the Volkan, like, uh, in fact, this might be Fujiwara's move. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. If Alistair was here, he would definitely know what this is, and I'm expecting him to, to chime in on the comments. Uh, this is a pretty cool little uh, heel hook, ankle lock sort of thing. Uh, definitely very different applications in shoot style. There's a, a heel hook by uh, Fujiwara. Fujiwara, Carl Gotch trained, uh, catch wrestling, 
Lots of inventive moves. Volkan, more of a bread and butter guy uh, with arm bars, uh, heel hooks and stuff like that. Uh, Fujiwara, I think, was known for lots of crazy stuff. He's uh, looking gassed already, Fujiwara. Crowd gives him a round of applause for that. So in the scheme of rings, I wonder how this fight was promoted. Was it just promoted as a exhibition grappling match? Because that's all it is. Did the fans think this was real? Or did they know, like, hey, we have all these other young guys out here punching their brains out. And we got these two older guys that are just sort of grabbing each other. Did they know this was a work? Uh, but that's okay. I, You know, I think the Japanese fans could admit to themselves, you know, like, hey, it's okay that this stuff isn't real. You know, uh, that's always been my fascination with shoot style wrestling was just the Japanese public's assumed belief. And I think for the most part, Japanese fans and Alistair's confirmed this that the Japanese fans. Oh, here we go with this uh, sort of a knee pull uh, hamstring stretch here by uh, Volkan. Uh, there was a straight sort of heel hook there from Fujiwara. Uh, the Japanese fans did always think that shoot style was real, but when shoots were happening, it was a different energy, and they sensed that there was something slightly different about it. Uh, but they were still under the belief that it, uh, all the shoot style stuff was, was legit. Maybe there were some Japanese fans out there that knew that were uh, in on it. Uh, so anyway, uh, just an interesting topic, I think. Japanese shoot style, uh, interesting stuff. You could talk about it for days. Whoa, there's a sort of uh, toss, not really a toss a trip. Oh, we've cut ahead. Uh, I guess there was some boring action. <laughs> so this uh, card was so stacked. Uh, the event was so long. Actually, it's not very. It's not a very good event. He's choking him out here. This event had a lot of decisions, if I recall. But um, Volkan is rolling here to, to keep that neck secured, but he's lost it. So they've whittled this match down. I wonder how long it was originally. Maybe it was post uh, 15 minutes. Uh, we get a abridged version of this match, and that's sad. Uh, I would like to see this in full. Or maybe they just cut out a part where Yoshiaki Fujiwara took like a five-minute nap. <laughs> maybe that's what they cut out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm not a big fan of this event. Oh, and the bell rings there. Maybe this was like one 10-minute round or one 15-minute round. Uh, the match is over there, uh, and I think it's going to end in a draw. Uh, so Fujiwara, uh, that fucker couldn't even put Volkan, who was pretty identified as the man of rings. Uh, Volkan carries him around here. Fujiwara couldn't even put over Volkan. Uh, that's terrible. But, you know, Fujiwara is a legend. Uh, his star was fading, though. He was getting old. And there we go. That's the end of that match. Now we get to hear from Fujiwara. Fujiwara, he's, he's old. He's always been old. Doesn't look much different from his uh, time in the sun in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, he was like firmly that sort of freelance, independent, you know, face that you bring in uh, to get some butts in the seats. Uh, Volkan here. Uh, I think Volkan is quite a handsome fellow. Uh, he's got that rugged sort of uh, good looks, uh, manly man looks, uh, and I'm I'm a man manly man enough to to recognize uh, when I think another man is attractive. <laughs> uh, so I, I like Volkan. He just looks like a fun guy, and that's it for this one. Well, there we go. That was that was real quick. Uh, wish there was more. Wish we, wish we could have got to see that whole matchup. Uh, funny that it, uh, well, not surprising. I think it's surprising that Fujiwara didn't go over, but it's, it's not surprising. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. It's not surprising that Fujiwara didn't, uh, didn't go over. So I didn't expect Fujiwara to go over in that match, but I also didn't expect him to be able to weasel out of a, a draw, but maybe it was a respect thing. Maybe, um, 
maybe Volkan himself sort of said, well, we should do it a draw. So I don't know what's behind it, but I think Volkan should have went over. Volkan should have just submitted <laughs> But that's me. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, anyway, let me know what you thought about this um, MMA oddity, just in terms, I guess, of you know, its placement uh, on the rings, the legitimate rings card, they have an exhibition match. I think anything like that that ever happens at, you know, legitimate events where they have an exhibition match, that would count as an MMA oddity, in my opinion. Also an MMA oddity just because Volkan versus Fujiwara. The worlds collided, uh, and everybody was all right. Uh, So make a comment uh like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe uh like this video share it with your friends if you got any Uh, i just want to be honest here i'm the only friend you got i'm your friend if you don't have any friends (laughs) just remember the most dangerous man alive today is your friend uh and i am the most dangerous man alive today wishing you goodbye good luck and we'll sniff you fucking jerks later